how to delete your online activity history. In this video session, I'm going to share with you tips and insights so that your online privacy is better protected. Now, if you're using internet like most of us, then it's more than likely that you're using Google, perhaps Facebook, Instagram, Amazon, and so on. If that's the case, understand that all these service providers, they actually provide privacy tools for us so we can use them. Or we can actually delete the online accounts that are not important for us. Okay. So with Google, when you log into your account, manage your account, you have data and privacy settings here. You can look at your activity history, delete things here. On the left hand side, press on other activity and take a look at the activity history Google has on you and either manage it or delete it. Then you can use Google Alerts to you know, perhaps provide your name details here your phone number details and so on to create alerts. That means anytime that information is found on Google, Google will alert you. Recently, Google has provided an additional tool that is called results about you. You can simply get started. So I won't cover this because rank your website has already provided that information for you. Okay. Now, as I've said, whether it's Google, Facebook, YouTube, and all this other stuff, they have privacy controls, such as making your profile public or private, making your activity private or public, and so on. So you want to be familiar with those settings. For Facebook, when you log into your account, you can press on your profile icon, go to settings, then go to privacy checker to see what you're sharing. Let's go to settings. Let's go to settings. Let's go to our information. As we can see, I have different profiles. Instagram, I actually don't use it for myself. In fact, I don't use Facebook for myself either. So that's rather private. But if I don't use it, as in if you don't use it, you may want to perhaps delete certain online profiles. I use Facebook for advertising or for rank your website. As we can see, I've interacted on Facebook a lot. And I kind of know the settings by default. They're not designed to be private, so to speak. So you really want to triple check your settings for privacy and at least take the privacy checker to see what you're sharing. Actually, let me close out of that because I just want to show you your activity log that you may want to go through to see what interactions you've been having on Facebook because Facebook does give you options to delete certain activity you can access that from your facebook activity log okay clear your browsing history that's straightforward whatever the browser you're using simply go to settings privacy and security delete browsing data select what you want deleted then delete data if you're using microsoft edge same principles apply Find the three dots, go to settings, privacy and search, delete your browsing data. Okay, as in clear it. Yeah, if privacy is absolutely important for you, then understand that there are other options, such as a Tor browser, which works on Tor network. So if privacy is absolutely important for you, then you may want to explore Tor Browser. They also have an app for Android as well. 
So now let's continue. Search engine activity, that's to do with your Google account. When you log in, your profile, manage your profile, data and privacy settings, and go through the history settings here. And make sure you triple check the other activity that Google keeps on us. Remove information from a website. Let's imagine you commented on a website and you want that information removed, then you need to contact the website owner. But if your information is a personal information, then you may actually use Google Help section for removal requests. Once again, Ranker has the video tutorials and the step-by-step -step guide showing how to do that. Opt out of data brokers. Now, depending on where you're living on planet Earth, let's imagine you're living in Australia, white pages or yellow pages have your name, phone number. If that's the case, you may need to ring them up to remove your information. Because if they have it in their database, then it's more than likely it's in Google as well. Then you can use third-party service providers such as Delete Me or Privacy B to speed up the process and so on. You can delete disable online shopping accounts, unsubscribe from mailing lists. You can use tools or simply search your inbox for unsubscribe search term. In Australia, when we receive email, by law, it has to have one click unsubscribe option. So as we can see, my inboxes are very clean, but I can't say that for my family members. Clear mobile app data. Now, this is important. Why is it important? Because even if you clean your Google history, Facebook history, all that stuff on your mobile phone. You want to go to settings, go to app management and go through the app privacy settings, so to speak. As in an app may have certain information such as cookies that can be used for tracking. Let's imagine Google Chrome. Even if I delete everything from here, using a desktop or a laptop, that information can still be here. As in different cookies and different information may be here. So I perhaps want to clear that data as well. Especially if the Android phone is synced with your Google account. And you can use privacy tools. Virtual private networks can be utilized. There are many extensions that allow you to do that. You can use ad blockers, such as uBlock Origin, you know, ad block and all that stuff. Now, I've covered a few different angles on this video session. If anything, privacy in 2024 and in the future will be much more important because to date, we've been sharing a lot of information about us on different platforms. Meaning, many service providers, they keep our information. Let's imagine something you've searched last year. You and I, we forget that. But search engines such as Google, they keep that information. So ideally, you have two options. One is use the tools available for privacy control for major accounts that you interact with. Turn off public sharing or delete the accounts that you no longer use. At the end of the day, your privacy is your right and it is on you to understand how things work and control your privacy 
much better. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.